Jesse Waters, Kellyanne Conway, and Britt Hume. Sean Hannity also with us tonight in, in the spin room, the spin room in Atlanta. Atlanta. Listen, this was a 90-minute debate between the current president, the former president, the two prospective nominees of their parties. And really, the news came in the first few moments. President Biden spoke his first words in a very raspy voice, at times stumbling through early answers. Ten minutes in, he stopped flat on an answer, stopped short. The White House is now telling reporters that the president has a cold and has had a cold. I hadn't learned that until tonight. On substance, former President Trump continued to hammer the issue of border security and illegal immigrants coming across the border again and again and again. President Biden did make points on abortion, defending NATO, um, but much of the debate went back and forth on how bad each president was arguing about that, even going down to golf handicaps that at one point. Um, the moderators asked substantive questions. The candidates answered what they wanted. But the big thing was how they looked and how everyone reacted to this moment. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to get past the obvious, which was this very weak voice from President Biden. At times, he had looks of confusion. He was looking down, times where he looked vacant while President Trump was speaking. And as you mentioned, Brett, there was, a, you know, sort of a bit of a freeze around 12 minutes in to this. Um, I mean, this, this is a problem. This is an issue uh, that either they're going to try to um, talk their way out of about the, the cold thing, or they're going to um, ask the question of whether or not the bar of a strong performance tonight was met. Because that is what was talked about, you know, on other networks where you have prominent Democrats, Axelrod and Van Jones were saying, look, he needs to go out there. He's got to prove that he's capable of doing the job. And then he has to really stick it to President Trump and really nail that. And they were saying if he doesn't do that, then he doesn't he can't doesn't deserve to be up there. Um, so, th I mean, this is this is the elephant in the room, the donkey in the room, whatever you want to call it tonight. But um, this is the issue that everybody is going to be talking about. We're going to play a clip of this in a little bit. But he, you know, just one example. He said he went to Normandy and he spoke to World War II veterans who died and visited the World War I cemetery. That's not an exact verbatim, but that, that, both of those elements were in there. And I just want to make one other point, which is that Trump didn't really indulge in this. Um, he didn't react a whole lot. He did, you know, a little bit of a smirk face at times, but basically he stayed focused and looked straight ahead. He landed points on Afghanistan, said he fired generals who needed to be fired, and that Trump had, that Biden had never done that. So obviously uh, a lot to talk about. Yeah. January 6th and other issues as well. Overall, the moderators asking questions all over the board. We'll bring in our panel. Britt, first to you, your thoughts on this. Not